I have a little breakage going on here. Can you see? Oh! What's up y'all, it's Takaya. Thanks for tuning into this video. Today, I just want to share with y'all a tragedy that I have inflicted on my locks, okay? We're gonna show you. I have a little breakage going on here. Can you see? Oh, look at that. She is about to fall off. Mm -mm -mm. So, as you can see, it's very thin there and it's about to detach itself now how did this happen you ask well i get pretty ocd sometimes i ain't gonna lie when i see like a thick piece of lint it's not that often that i have this issue but when i do you know i'm just looking through my ends looking through my locks and i'll see a really big piece of lint and it's not just on the surface where you just pull it off. It's kind of intertwined within the lock, you know? So, I thought it would be a good idea to use these. These are some cuticle cutters. Um, but it's nice and pointy and sharp. So, it was easy for me to, you know, I would use it to pick it out. And for the most part, it is efficient, you know what I'm saying? I don't do too much usually. But I do recall on this lock, like there was a really big piece and it was like in there, in there. And I remember the day I did that, I pulled it out and a lot of loose hair came out, like a lot. And from there, before it got this bad, I remember it feeling a lot softer as if I like took the hairs from the inside. Like I pulled everything inside and it was just still a remainder of like a little bit of the outside left. But now, as some days that went by, probably like a week that went by, and it is on its last few threads, and it's really hanging on. And you know, I'm kind of sad about it. This isn't my first time I've had locks break off at the end. It hasn't been this bad, don't get me wrong, it ain't been this bad. But just naturally through the locking process, like most of the time, most of my ends, so like when the curls, solidified itself it would like pinch off and a little 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 piece of hair would fall off of it or I would just pull it off but nothing major you know I'm trying to see if I could find nah, I don't think I could but if you have locks yourself or you've been watching my journey I'm pretty sure you can get know what I'm talking about but yeah it just kind of like pinches off on the end and then the little fairy knot will fall off and see like something similar like this it will look something like this how this one is it'll have a little ball in the end and it'll eventually like fall off who knows if that one will but yeah similar to that i've had a few of those fall off before but i've never ex or yeah ones like these that have a little bit of hair on the end sometimes it'll create a little fairy knot and it'll fall off but that's like no big deal you know this one I knew I did this, okay? I'm just grateful that it's near the end of the lock because imagine if I did it up here, okay? Imagine if I did it up here, then it would be falling off. I would be like really upset about that. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all because, you know, it was a lesson learned that maybe this isn't the best thing to use when getting it out or maybe I was just doing too much and need to learn when to stop, you know, when enough's enough. When enough is enough. <laughs> so I think I'm going to pull this off. But I wanted to do it with y'all on camera. Okay. Because when I took. Oh yeah. It's ready. It's so ready to come off. Look at that. Look at that. So here we go. We're going to release you. And I hope you forgive me. For causing damage to you. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Ah! <laughs> Look 
look at that. Now there's, I can tell this will lock up into a box. It's kind of like a swirl or, or like a loop right there. Oh my goodness, how much shorter is it? This is one of my little skinny locks too. Not that much lost. Oh my god. Lesson learned, okay? I'm just grateful that I didn't do it way too close to the root and it would have been super short. But she good, she gonna be good. I was gonna like put a bead over it when it wasn't this, like when it wasn't this thin, I was just like, I'm gonna just throw, I'm gonna bunch it up, you know, kind of connect it and put a bead over it to see if it'll kind of lock up again. But it started to get thinner and thinner. So I'm like, mm, let me pull it off. But I wanted to do it on camera just to show y'all I mess up too. <laughs> and you know, you gotta be really careful when it comes to cleaning and maintaining your locks. So don't get too crazy. Maybe I should have just did an ACV. It wasn't even that. It was a legit like lint ball, but it was like in there, in there. And I, I didn't carefully pinch it out. I just like pulled and I pulled too much hair out. So yeah, be careful. Don't cause damage on your locks intentionally. Well, it wasn't intentional, but kind of. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching this tragedy. <laughs> um, wish her some healing, send healing vibes to this lock for me, please. She will be good. She will be back and better. It already looks, you know, not that bad. It don't look that bad. I couldn't leave it like how it was. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hope you learned from me. Be careful on what you use to get lint out of your locks, okay? Okay, thanks for tuning in. Like this video, subscribe for more. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.